Welcome to RP's Group of Schools Online Classes. Let's continue with Session 3 of our chapter Heat and Temperature. Let's learn how to read a thermometer. In order to read a thermometer, first of all, find the temperature difference indicated between two bigger marks on the thermometer. Note down the number of divisions shown by smaller marks between them. For example, if the temperature difference between two bigger marks is 10 degrees and there are 10 smaller divisions between them, then one small division will be read as 1 degree. Let's discuss about clinical thermometer in detail. It was invented by Sir Thomas Clifford Elbert in 1866. The thermometer used to measure the body temperature of humans and animals is called clinical thermometer. Now let us discuss the structure of a clinical thermometer. A clinical thermometer is formed of a long and narrow glass tube with bulb at its one end. This bulb is filled with mercury. The glass tube encloses a thin capillary tube. The capillary tube has a kink or bend just a little above the bulb. Two scales that is Celsius and Fahrenheit scales are shown on the thermometer. The range of Celsius scale on the clinical thermometer is 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. Whereas the range of Fahrenheit scale on the clinical thermometer is 94 degree Fahrenheit and 108 degree Fahrenheit. Have you ever imagined what is the purpose of kink in the clinical thermometer? The kink in the capillary tube of the clinical thermometer prevents the mercury from falling back after the thermometer is removed from patient's mouth. So it helps us to measure the temperature of the body correctly. Using a clinical thermometer To use a clinical thermometer, first of all wash and dry the thermometer Give it one or two jerks and make sure that the mercury in the capillary tube has fallen well below 35 degrees Celsius. Now put the bulb of the thermometer under the tongue for one minute. Take it out and read the temperature. Do you know the normal average temperature of human body is 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. You may also find that our body temperature is not exactly 37 degrees Celsius. Does it mean something is wrong with you? There's nothing to worry. To find the fact, let us perform an activity. Activity 3, page 46 of your textbook, aim. To find about the normal temperature of human body. Material required. For this activity you will require a clinical thermometer, a pen and a piece of paper. Procedure. Measure the body temperature of at least 10 different people such as your family members, friends etc. with a clinical thermometer. Now. Record their names and body temperatures in the given table. Observe the readings carefully. What do you observe? You will observe that the temperature of every person is not exactly 37 degrees Celsius. That is, it is slightly higher or lower than the normal body temperature. What can we conclude from this observation? Let us see. From this activity, we can conclude that human beings have little variations in their body temperatures. The normal body temperature which is 37 degrees Celsius is the average value of the body temperatures taken of a large number of healthy persons. So if your body temperature is slightly lower or slightly higher than 37 degrees Celsius, you need not worry. 
Do you know why the range of clinical thermometer is from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius? The temperature of our body does not fall below 35 degrees Celsius or rise above 42 degrees Celsius. That is why the range of clinical thermometer is from 35 degrees Celsius to 42 degrees Celsius. Let's study some precautions while using a clinical thermometer. The following steps must be followed while using a clinical thermometer. The thermometer must be washed with an antiseptic lotion like Detol or Spirit or at least with clean water and then dried with a clean dry cloth before and after every use. The thermometer should be given two or three soft jerks to bring the mercury in the capillary well below 35 degrees Celsius. While giving jerks, care should be taken that the thermometer does not hit any object, otherwise its delicate bulb is likely to break. Never hold the thermometer by the bulb while reading it. While thermometer is inside your mouth, do not laugh or talk or yawn or make any other action. This is to prevent the breakage of thermometer which may release mercury into the mouth. Mercury is poisonous and fatal. Once it gets into the body, it is difficult to remove it completely from the intestine. Note the reading in clear light. The thermometer can be given small rotations to make the capillary and the level of mercury clearly visible. Keep the level of mercury along the line of sight while reading the thermometer. This will give you the exact measurement of the body. If the thermometer falls or breaks while giving jerks and the mercury spills in the form of small droplets, then take a small ball of kneaded wheat flour and roll it over the mercury droplets to pick them all. Put this contaminated wheat flour ball in a polythene bag and tie a knot tightly. Then hand it over to your nearest pharmacy to dispose it off. We should not use a clinical thermometer to measure the temperature of other objects or take it close to flame or keep in the sun. All these activities may break or damage the thermometer. Do you know why digital thermometers preferred these days for measuring body temperature? It is convenient to use digital thermometers because it measures temperature by using thermistor instead of mercury. Thermistors are thermally sensitive resistors. So it eliminates the risk of accidental release of mercury into the mouth. That was all for today's class.